Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we've got some Unreal Engine news and probably what you weren't expecting is that Unreal Engine now has an iPhone app, yeah. Uh, it's not actually for Unreal Engine development, which is unfortunate. That would be really awesome, actually. But instead, of what it's for is facial animation. It is the new Live Link Face iOS app is now available on the App Store. We will check that out in a bit. It does appear to be iPhone only, which is why you are not getting a demonstration in this video. So this video is probably going to be fairly short. I own no iPhones, and I don't see that changing at any point in the near future. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be going hands-on with this. But all the technology you need is available. So if you have iPhone, uh, what is it, 13 or up and an iPhone 10X or higher, uh, you can check this out today. We're going to see that in just a minute. But what we got here, uh, each release of Unreal Engine, we aim to bring features that feel like the future of virtual production into the present for filmmakers to easily pick up and use. In the 4.25 release, this meant building something that ships alongside instead of inside the engine, a new iOS app we are proud to unveil, Live Link Face for Unreal Engine, available starting today on on the app store so as you can see is face over here and in game and this actually goes kind of far beyond what you might expect this is pretty much a full pro production quality facial capture solution or at least that's kind of how they're gearing it but it is also suitable for you know the indie dev sitting by himself at a desk somewhere so uh, live link streams high quality facial animations in real time from your iphone directly onto characters in unreal engine app trafficking leverages apple's ar kit and the iphone's true depth front facing camera and i think that may only be on iphones i'm not an i'm not an apple guy by any means so let me know if this is actually on ipad pro there's a little ambiguity if this will work on iPads or not, uh, but it re does require a front-facing true depth front scent, uh, camera to interactively track a performance face transmitting this data to Unreal Engine via live link over a network designed to excel on both professional capture stages with multiple actors in full motion capture suits as well as at the artist desk, uh, single artist desk. The app delivers ex um, expressive and emotion emotive facial performances in any production situation. And here you can see a full professional setup. The guy is in a full motion capture rig and and he's got on a swing arm looking at him an iPhone. Uh, it actually looks a little silly, uh, but it, it's also quite clever. And this is the kind of thing that people spend a fair bit of money on solving. So it'd be interesting to see if this works that well. And the funny thing is, uh, Unreal Engine is moving into film production in a big way. And this is a pretty big feature, so it, this could turn out to be quite interesting. So. Uh, a collaborative virtual production is particular emphasis of the app. Multicast networking enables you to stream to uh, live link data to multiple sessions so that they all kind of get it at once. Uh, robust time code support and precise frame accuracy enable seamless synchronization with other stage components like cameras and body motion capture. Also has tentacle sync integration which allows us to connect to a stage master using Bluetooth. Ensuring a perfect editorial lineup with all the other devices is recording from the shoot. Sophisticated production can also make use of OSC or open sound control protocol. Support that lets external applications control the app remotely so what you can do is like something like have all of these uh, live link apps start at once if you have multiple things going. Um, goes beyond the stage, provides additional functionality, other key use cases. Streamers will benefit from the app's ability to natively adjust when performers are sitting at their desk rather than wearing a head-mounted rig with a mocap suit as Live Link Face can include head and neck rotation data as part of the facial tracking stream to provide more freedom of movement for their digital avatars uh, with just the iPhone. Animators can also take advantage of the option to record both the raw blend strip data and the front facing video, each stripped with time code to use as reference materials for the performance if further uh, adjustment need to be. So what that's basically saying is you can also record the screen and, and check out so you can compare against the motion capture data with the actor's actual face to kind of make sure that everything is looking nice. Harnesses the major facial capture quality of iPhone's AR kit, turns it into a streamlined production tool. Uh, at RYOT, we believe in the democratiza democratization of capture technology and real-time content, and this solution is perfect for creators at home or a professional studio team like ours. So that's pretty cool, actually. Uh, it's amazing that more and more and more tools, pro professional level tools that uh, Unreal Engine are basically looking to solve and are giving away to us people for free. This stuff used to cost tens of to hundreds of thousands of dollars and was available to basically studios, like professional AAA movie studios only. And 
wait a minute, is there such a thing as a AAA movie studio? And if so, why are games treated different? All right, back on tangent. Uh, this stuff used to be only at like the real high level, a multi-million dollar uh, production kind of facilities. Now it's, it's available to all of us, which is, is kind of impressive. Well, all of us that have iPhones, which is not me. Uh, if you're interested, it is up on the App Store. As you see here, it is for Unreal Engine by Unreal Engine. Uh, it is really well rated so far, but it's whole two ratings that are perfect, including one from an Epic Duck. Um, it, the app is available for download. Again, what I do find interesting is up here, this is this is Apple and not Unreal Engine. It says this is only for the iPhone, whereas if you come down here, it says it's compatible with the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. I think this is one of those things that they just throw in there, and I do think that ultimately it will only work on an iPhone. And, and according to the documentation from Unreal Engine, you need to have uh, a 10 device or higher. Uh, so here you can see, actually, even you go to the actual documentation, you can see straight out it says recording it from an iPhone X. So it does seem to be specific to iPhones. Uh, there are some details and documentation and materials on this, how to get up and started. There is an example project, the Face AI Learn Sample, that you can start from. There is a line here that I found uh, quite confusing. Oh, actually, they edited it. It used to say something about here about needing to have a Mac to, to use it, and it kind of got removed out. So it was really poorly worded. Glad to see that that has been taken out. So you got some details on how to get up and synchronizing to the app, you know, how you can set your servers up to listen for it, how you set the plugin up inside of Unreal Engine, the uh, Live Link plugin, and uh, yeah, how, how you can go about starting to use this guy. So I will link the link documentation in the article down below. Uh, oh, no, no, this is the thing, really confusing. All right, so maybe it's just me and I can't read at this point in time. Live Link relies on the same AR kit features used by the Face AR sample uh, that you can find in the Learn tab of the Epic Games Launcher. However, the Face AR sample needs to be compiled for iOS, which requires a Mac and an Apple developer account. And then this is the second line. So this makes it sound like, okay, so that face AR sample requires you to build it on a Mac and have an Apple. And this next line leaves it a little ambiguous. Uh, with the Live Link Face app, you can immediately get started applying facial animation to any properly set up character in any Unreal Engine project. So that one leads me to believe that you do not need a Mac. Uh, but these two sentences, they're either just weirdly juxtapositioned or maybe I just can't read. But just... Do be aware that that is out there. I don't want anyone to, to run into a wall that may or may not exist. So just a kind of a heads up there. Uh, definitely an interesting project. Once again, it is up and ready to go. So if you head on over to the App Store, uh, you can download that for you. And I don't know that it has any use without Unreal Engine, uh, but it is definitely a very cool looking tool. If you want to get into um, you know facial capture stuff, this is a, a really widely accessible phone and a free to use game engine, a great comment basically. So that is it. Uh, new, uh, let's see, Live Link Face application is now available as are the tools on Unreal Engine 4.25 to make use of it. Let me know what you think. Comments down below and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.